Welcome to this dynamic placement test guide for test administrators. This guide will walk you through the basics of the admin panel, helping you create your first tests and view results. Once your account has been set up, you'll be able to use your login credentials to access the admin panel. Setting up a dynamic placement test for your students is a simple three-step process. Step one is creating learner accounts for your test takers. Step two is scheduling a test. Step three is sending out welcome emails to your students. Let's go through these steps in detail. If you want a candidate to take DPT, the first step is to create a learner account for them. To do this, we click on the Users tab on the left. Click on Add Learner. Fill in their basic information – name, email address, and a password. Click Save, and that's it. If you have a large number of test takers, you might find it helpful to organise them into groups. You can do this by clicking Add Group, naming it, and adding the learner accounts to that group. I'll move the student account we just created into the group Class 1A. If you need to create a large number of accounts, it can be quite time consuming to create them all one by one. It is much faster and easier to import them all from a spreadsheet. To do this, click on Import Users. In the window that appears, click to download the template and open it with Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets, or a similar program. In the template, you'll notice there are three column headings – name, email, and password. This is all the information needed to create a new learner account. Fill in the details for all your new users in columns A and B, and enter a unique password for each one in column C. Here's a tip. A quick way to generate the passwords is to use the RAND between function. In cell C2, enter equals RAND between for a four digit password. We'll set the minimum value as 1000 and the maximum value as 9999. Hit enter and drag the function down for all the new users. Once all the information is ready, export it as a CSV file. Click on File, save a copy, and change the file type to CSV. Save the file. Return to the Admin panel, click Upload Spreadsheet, and select the CSV file we just created. Double check all the information is correct and click Save. Next, we have to schedule a test for the candidates. To do this, we click on the Tests tab on the left. Click on Add Test. In the screen that pops up, you'll notice there are many different customization options for the test. For now, let's just focus on these five sections. Let's fill in the description with the name of this test. In this case, we'll call it DPT for Class 1A. We have to decide how long the test will be valid for. The default is for the test to open immediately and close in one month's time. You can change the dates to whatever suits your needs. In this case, let's change it to closing in two weeks' time. Choose the correct time zone. Lastly, we have to choose the candidates we want to be assigned to this test. Expand the drop-down to see all of your groups and learner accounts, and select the relevant ones. In this case, we'll choose the group we just created, Class 1A. Click Save and your test has been created. Now your test is ready to go, but your test takers don't know how to access it or how to log in. The last step is to send them a welcome email with all this information. Click on the test you just created. 
click on Send Email. You can now automatically send an email to all test takers with the following information. The test name, when the test will be valid, how to log in. Login details will be unique for each test taker. Some basic information on taking the test. You can click Edit to change the subject line of the email or add any other information you think is relevant. Once you've made your changes, click Save. Select all the users you want to receive the welcome email and click Send Email. That's it! Now your test has been scheduled and your candidates notified. You can sit back and wait for the results to come in. Once your candidates have taken the test, their results will appear immediately in the admin panel. To view them, select the relevant test and click on Reports. You'll see the results report with all the relevant information. There is a summary of the test and completion rate at the top of the screen. In the table, we can see all the test takers' details and their test status. If they have taken the test, we can see the duration, start time and result. The result shows both their CEFR score, A1 to C2, as well as a relative numeric score between 1 and 120. For ease of use, especially if you have a large number of test takers, you can download the results report and open it in an Excel spreadsheet. Once your test takers have completed the test, you also have the option of generating DPT certificates for them. Select the relevant test and click on Certificates. All candidates assigned to this test who have completed it will appear on the right. Click on any user to preview their certificate. The certificate will include some of the test and test takers' information, their CEFR score, and a relative strengths graph of the three skills – reading, listening and language elements. Click on all the users for whom you want to create a certificate and click Generate. That's it! We hope that you found this walkthrough of the Admin Panel useful. This video has covered the basics of setting up a test and viewing results. This might be all you need at first. However, in some cases, you might find other, more advanced features useful, such as scheduling quick tests, offline versions of the test, or creating teacher accounts for other administrators. If that's the case, we recommend you watch our next video, Admin Panel Guide for Test Administrators Part 2 – Additional Features. We also have a resource bank filled with useful information, including tutorials, case studies, as well as background and theory of the dynamic placement test. To have a look, visit www.dynamicplacementtest.com forward slash support forward slash resources. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. You can either email your account manager or your support team at support at clarityenglish.com. Thank you.